Hi, Dear Doers, and welcome back. Finding a way to simplify communication between you and your community is most certainly one of your objectives. And you know what? Your website can be a crucial ally in this situation. While having a clean and clear contact form makes your website look more professional, it also makes it easy for recurrent and potential customers to get in touch. They fill out a few fields and that's it. You receive their inquiries. Using Odoo, forms can serve many purposes, generate leads, gather curriculum vitae, create support tickets, and many more. The available actions depend on the other Odoo apps you have installed on your database. So let's head to our database to see all the possibilities that we have. All right, so here I am on my website. I'm gonna go directly to the Contact Us page. Now note that Odoo will automatically create this page for you, which will uh, include the form. I have removed it for the sake of this video, uh, but let's go ahead and re-add it right now. So I'm gonna go to Edit, and I'm going to search for my form block. And then I'm going to drag it and drop it. And when I click inside of this form, I'm going to have uh, many possibilities to modify this on the right. And the first will be uh, our action option. Now this will change the action that happens when um, the visitor clicks on the submit button. Okay, so that's what you meant by it depends on the installed application, right? Yep, that is exactly right. So for example, when using the CRM app, which I have installed on my database, I can ask the DB to automatically create an opportunity when someone clicks on the submit button rather than sending an email, for example. Okay, but why do some of your fields have a, a star on the right? That means that those fields are required. Um, and so if it's not required, you will not have the little star. So for example, for your company, I don't want that field to be required. So I'm gonna remove that option right here. Um, and then we can also choose to redirect people when they submit the form, um, or we can simply just show them a message. But for now, let's go ahead and add another field. So I'm gonna click on the plus field button. Now, what would you like to do with this new field, Ludwig? Mm. Mm. Well, why don't we ask people what they, how they want to be contacted? Mm. I think it's important to, to give them the choice. I totally agree. So let's go ahead and modify our field. So for the label, I'm going to change this to how to contact you. Sorry. And after I've done that, I'm also going to move it. I'm going to drag it and drop it just underneath the your name field. And then after I've done that, I'm going to change the type. So this is going to be a multiple checkbox type field. Um, and then by default, it gives us three options, but I only want two. So I'm going to remove the third option. So for option one, let's put phone. For option two, we're going to put email. And then I'm going to go even further. I only want uh, the phone field to be displayed if someone selects that option, and same for email. So what I'm going to do is select phone number here. First of all, I am going to make it required, and then I'm going to change the visibility. So from always visible, I'm going to say it's visible only if uh, they selected phone for how to contact them. And then we're going to do the same for uh, your email as well. So only visible if how to contact you is email. Perfect, now that looks pretty good, but the last thing I wanna do before we save this is to jump to our subject here. And under default value, I want to say a question about your products. And then we're gonna go ahead and save this and let's test it out. So let's add our name. And here I'm going to select email and we have the email field pop up, of course, as we configured it. I don't need to enter my company name because that's not a required field. And then we're going to uh, use the default value for our subject. And I'm going to add my question, uh, what t-shirt sizes are available? And then I'll submit and I'm redirected to this beautiful thank you page. Now that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.